So being a content creator, one of the things that's interesting is there are all these rules and guidelines that I have to follow as a content creator. And there are certain things that I can and can't talk about on the channel. Um, so y'all, I actually received a warning from YouTube along with a lovely note letting me know that one of my videos had been taken down because I violated the community guidelines. Um, Welcome to the G.I. Justin channel, y'all. Thank you for tuning in and checking out what I've got to tell you. So along with this message, it said I violated their guidelines related to a certain medical thing that happened in 2020 that actually had nothing to do with what my video was about. Uh, I did a video that was related to demystifying a bunch of things that are urban legends in the world, one of which is chemtrails and the fact that they don't actually exist. Y'all, they just don't. It's fine. Argue what you want to argue. That's not what the video is about today. That's fine. Uh, you know, I try to steer clear of a lot of interesting topics that I think would cause ire for me when it comes to YouTube, because being a small content creator, you know, I don't have a huge base of subscribers that I can pull from and say, hey, everybody write YouTube a letter and tell them what I said. Um, but they basically said that I was spreading misinformation about this, uh, this particular thing that happened in 2020, uh, even though I was on the front lines of it and a helicopter pilot during that time flying the first several of those people with that particular thing um, to some hospitals. And as part of that, they sent me a a strike basically saying that I violated guidelines and that my video had been taken down. And kind of at first I was taken a little bit aback because being a small content creator, like I didn't think I was on anybody's radar. You know, I kind of thought that, okay, well, um, all right, fair enough. And now that I'm big enough, apparently to be on the radar, we're going to start taking videos down if they don't uh, necessarily agree with certain guidelines that may or may not, uh, may or may not meet what they want me talking about. So, um, interesting thing about that is they provide you with the ability to appeal this warning and strike against my, against my YouTube channel by basically sending them an appeal and saying, Hey y'all, like take another look at this. I did not violate any of the guidelines that I am well familiar with. And I would request that my strike be taken away and my video returned to the channel, basically. So uh, I, I filed that appeal and basically two hours later, I think it was, I had a, uh, a message from, from YouTube basically saying, hey, congratulations, we've taken another look at your video and your, uh, your appeal's granted. Your, your video's back online. Consider it like it never happened. We apologize. Sometimes it happens. And, you know, that's one of the things that, that I feel like is a big win because most of the channels that you're, that you're seeing on YouTube right now, a good portion of them, I think, are purely in existence to make money. They're not out there to tell you what is actually happening without bias, just like all the major news networks. And on the prepper side of the house, which is something we still talk about, you know, some, not, not as much as, uh, you know, as we started out with based on what's going on with the world and the video we did yesterday talking about all this crazy stuff going on all at once. But, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely, I feel like it's, it's a good win for the channel and a good win for me because like I said, a, a lot of channels, especially like, like I was just saying the prepper channels, they show all this stuff that is just not realistic. You know, I mean, what are you going to do? Throw a 200 pound rucksack on your kid and make them lug all the food that you mistakenly bought, uh, thinking you were going to have your kid lug it all for you? No, not so much. Um, and then other ones, you know, like we've talked about before, where you'll see somebody laying out their kit and, you know, just in their rifle alone, they've got $4,000. That's great. Hey, if you can afford it, outstanding, good for you. But most people that work regular jobs with regular salaries don't have the money to put a $2,000 scope on their rifle, let alone have the ability to go train and be effective with that $2,000 scope. 
So that's one of the biggest things that I really, really enjoy about doing the channel. You know, it doesn't make me any money. What I love about it is being able to bring you guys information that is actually relevant and without a whole lot of crazy bias. And that's what this video was about. You know, it was about chemtrails and about some other interesting things that are myths that are just not true that y'all have come to me with before. Uh, and for it to be cut and then immediately two hours later after I appeal, I get the, uh, the all clear to go ahead and, and continue operations as normal is a, uh, it's a little bit eye opening for me as a, as a smaller time content creator, you know, that you really have to stay within the guidelines that are set for you. Because if you don't, the wrath of the YouTube gods is swift and deadly and they'll knock it down, knock your channel out, demonetize you and cut you loose. Um, pretty darn quick, you know, without, without really giving you a whole lot of information on it. So one of the biggest things that I, that I really think about what, what all this stuff means for us, both as, you know, people who just watch video, YouTube videos, cause I do it too. And as a country, as I think this is kind of emblematic of what we're seeing in the world right now, you know, um, there's a whole lot of arguing and over the course of people arguing back and forth, not a whole lot of listening and not a whole lot of understanding back and forth between, between people. And I think that's kind of emblematic of what happened to me with this, this strike on YouTube that I had to go back and say, Hey, take another look at it. I don't, uh, I don't see what you guys are seeing. And I think that it is something that I hope we can build into more as a nation for sure is, having a little bit more foresight and listening to what other people are saying instead of just waiting for your turn to talk. And I think that's a big issue we see, especially with social media and the keyboard warrior varieties. Uh, I did a video about a month and a half ago that was about a Russian proxy, uh, basically hacking group called Killnet. And one of the things that happened to me over putting this video out is I was actually flooded with, uh, about 350 messages written in Cyrillic or variations of it, uh, basically threatening me and, and saying some, uh, really hateful stuff about me and the channel when it came to my discussion of Killnet. Uh, thankfully I've got a lot of filters in place that don't allow stuff like that to just be posted. But again, you know, here I was just discussing without bias, what, Killnet is. And almost instantly, uh, the video kind of went modestly viral, especially when it came to the number of really interesting comments that I was getting. And I think that kind of speaks to the power of YouTube because, uh, it's, it's really weird. Uh, it happened almost instantly where I went from you know, 50 views to a couple hundred to 350 comments all waiting in the review section. And none of them were in, in English whatsoever. They were all, uh, very interesting and somewhat problematic for me, you know, a little distressing that I instantly had this many messages that were not very friendly. Um, so I think that's kind of the power of YouTube is the ability to reach the masses of people and I, I really think I'm thankful that the strike is gone and I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to stop fighting to say the things that need to be said without bias and straightforward. And I think that's one of the things that I really appreciate about what you guys are doing and watching the channel, commenting, liking the videos and subscribing um, is that you're getting to hear from somewhat of a, a, a specialized mind because you know, I flew helicopters for the army for a long time. I've been involved in military, military stuff, and I've got some, some good credentials in, in military background. And I like the ability to bring this stuff to y'all's attention. So I don't know. At any rate, um, yeah, I wanted to let you guys know, like, Hey, we're, we're on the radio or yeah, radio on the radar. I mean, I'm having, uh, videos taken down getting some uh, messages that are less than friendly, telling me I need to quit talking about things that I shouldn't be talking about. Uh, and then I get the strike from, from YouTube. So I think we are definitely, you know, uh, fighting back and saying some things that need to be said that are not necessarily being spoken about. So 
as usual, thank you guys so much for watching the channel. Uh, it really means a lot to me, and I, I really hope you're getting good content out of it. Uh, down here in the corner, there's going to be a little circle with a helicopter in it. That is me in Afghanistan flying a helicopter, fighting for the good old US of A. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that button and subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep bringing you cool content. Uh, thank you guys so much for, for commenting. I enjoy talking back and forth with you. So you guys have an awesome day, and we'll get after it again tomorrow.